Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome look to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what we are going to be doing is a little bit different from the normal kind of tutorials we always get to do in Canva. So what we are going to do is what you see on my screen. And if this is something you are interested in, all I have to say is stay tuned and I should be right back after the intro. Okay, so quickly before we dive into today's tutorial, there are two things I want to talk to you about, Canva Pro and the assorted Canva template I created for you. So just in case you are looking at having more done in Canva, you know, in terms of removing your background images, when it comes to resizing your um, designs to any dimension at all, publishing your designs from Canva to any social media platform, and also like having a lot of brand kits from your clients on your Canva account so that it's easier to be able to work with multiple clients from the same account. All of this is possible inside of Canva Pro and also Canva Pro gives you the opportunity to have more animation. So just in case with what we're about to do this, you know, today, um, you're able to have a lot of animations so you can choose any of them you want to work with for what we're about to do. So there are so many possibilities when it comes to Canva Pro and I want you to try it for free um, today. So there's a link in the description box below that can help you to get it. I know I'm Russian. Take your time. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is the assorted Canva templates I created for you. So it's an easy to edit you know um, bundle of templates i made for you so that um, just in case you want to get some designs done quickly you don't have to stress with now thinking and doing all of those fancy fancy stuff you just pick one edit it change colors according to how you want it to look like then you post it you know so this is something i have created for you and i want you to enjoy it so there's a link also in the description box below so yes without any much i do let's dive straight into canva and let's get started with today's tutorial Okay, so this is what we are going to do and it's, trust me, it's a very, very easy tutorial. For this particular tutorial, you need to go for the 1080 by 13, no, 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 <laughs> 1920 by 1080 because it's a video tutorial we're about to do. Okay, so um, we are going to be learning how to create this animation. So if I'm to play it again, this is how the whole thing looks like. Okay, so you can see the animation very beautiful, okay? So let me close this up. Then I just click on the plus icon. And um, first of all, you can just come into videos and choose any video of your choice. So for example, um, we can choose maybe, you know, this is a location, you know, some aerial shots, as you can see, very beautiful. Okay, so I'll just drag it to the front over here. So now the first thing we are going to do is to design everything. Okay, so first of all, I press R on my keyboard for um, a square and I would you know, I want a perfect square, so I press Shift and Alt at the same time and reduce. Okay, so that it is looking beautiful. Then what I'm going to do is I will drag this one here and I'll zoom in. Okay, so that we can just focus on this. So now click on the square, come here to the border style and increase the rounding to something like five. Okay, so that we have some slight, you know, curves on the corners, which gets to make your um the whole animation looks interesting in a way you understand so then just duplicate this okay and you know reduce the height of it to somewhere like half of this okay then you stretch it out you understand so very easy then you just move it up a little bit because we are going to be adding some lines here and there so then press l for line okay bring it here and crop you know this line somewhere here like this then duplicate the line and um, I'll just bring it down here, but I'll leave this a little bit and move the line up. And I think the line is not thick enough, so I would increase the thickness of the line or the weight. Okay, so somewhere like 10 is fine. And I'll do the same for this, so 10. Okay. Then maybe I just drop this a little bit and drop this also more. And I think maybe this is looking too big, so I would reduce, I'll reduce it, okay? and move everything up and maybe this can come down a little bit and this should also come down here okay so then we move this one closer and you can see we, this is the whole concept behind it so now we are just going to fill it up with information but first of all let's change colors click on this and choose any color of your choice so i will go for yellow and yellow okay and with these two lines i'm going to go for white because i think it's brighter that way okay nice so the next thing we are going to do is come into element in element i'm just going to search for location which is location just in case you didn't know hey y'all come look at this i speak french je parle français um 
tre tre grand <laughs> you know so yes i speak big french that's what i mean <laughs> all right so <laughs> i would position this here okay and increase the size it shouldn't be too big something cute okay like this and i'll change the color to white and i can add my text so i can click here and just add the text so maybe this is maybe accra i don't know where i don't know this location i'm just putting something there for now so um let me just put northern region okay okay northern region um ghana okay yeah you know ghana is divided into regions not um states so this is some general knowledge you know that comes with this tutorial you know yeah so i would also change the color of this text to white because i think it will stand out it looks rather more interesting to me i i don't know in this case okay then i press t over here what did i even put united states okay so maybe i'll just put something here maybe the exact location or something forest okay so i'll put maybe um okay so let me make this one also white before i type so that we can see what i am typing so maybe memphis okay um arabic arabic um forest okay so this is also something i just want to say i don't know if it's there's nothing like that here in ghana i, I mean with this kind of name but you know it just sounds nice to me and i just want us to have it okay so this text is looking too big so i would reduce it a little bit okay and um i think something like this is cute okay so position it here and yes so you can see how everything is looking at the moment so if you are to play the video you can see this is a very sweet video and all that so it'll be nice for this to animate coming nicely and all that you get it that's the same idea over here so this is what we are going to do let me just zoom in a little bit more so we are going to animate all of this according to what we want so maybe this is looking too big i'll reduce it small and um yeah i think this is cute this is fine so the first thing to ask yourself is how do you want your um animation to happen and um, the second thing you need to ask yourself is which element do you want to come in first which one do you want them to follow you know so there should be some sort of sequence this would appear first then this appears um second then this appears next you know so that when you are animating it you know what you're trying to do and what you're trying to achieve so you need to have this on your mind when you're animating something you should know what is coming in first what follows what follows after that so that it, it makes sense you understand yeah so that's um, all i have to say about that so let's come here so i want to start off with this okay this part of the tutorial so just select the shape okay then come to your triple dot over here choose animate and search for wipe so it doesn't give us the option to search so we would have to actually go through but you know since wipe is some sort of like um, a sliding in so you can see slide in and out so you can choose you know just this one and since it's the first one we would reduce the slider over here which means that the speed would be slow but if you are to increase it you know it, it comes in very fast so we'll just maybe leave it somewhere here okay so something nice like that then we come to this particular one also so we would also want this one to follow okay so the shape would come in first the square behind would come in first before this follows so we would also adjust it accordingly uh -huh, you see how it is so that's how we want everything to look so once this two happened we want this one to follow okay so i choose the same wipe for it okay then i'm going to animate it accordingly okay so the wipe you can also choose okay this is the baseline so it does not wipe so i'll choose this and um so you can see how it's looking so the this comes first this come first okay then i want this to appear from um you know it would appear from the bottom to the top okay so i come to animate okay and i would search for ascend okay but if it ascend i would use a line okay so that it doesn't come by word then with the speed i'll reduce it because i want this particular one to come first okay so instead of pulling down this is what i'm going to do you can see when we drag it here it's very fast so it means we will have to slow it down to slow it down more okay that's um interesting so you'd have to adjust it to be able to get what you are looking for okay so maybe um this should slow down a little bit or this should rather come faster 
okay so it's all about um you know adjusting all of this to you get what you are looking for you can see so um i think this is cute even though um you know it would actually take more time to be able to get what i actually want but i just hope you get the whole concept on what i'm trying to do okay so i'll just move on to the lines okay so i choose both lines and um i'll use the neon okay so we have this neon effect which um gets to make them look as if they want to appear they don't want to appear some sort of way you get it so it's just a matter of searching for it i forgot where i found it from that's the the truth of the matter <laughs> so you actually have to look through to be able to find uh, oh what did i do i just deleted it okay so i'll just choose the first one first so that i can find um the neon okay so this is the neon okay so i'll just choose the neon for this and i'll you know choose the same thing for it so a force and that exaggerate okay so that's what we are going to do okay, so if we play our design this is how everything is going to be looking like and you can see it's a very sweet and very easy um animation we have been able to create inside of canva so yes this is what we have been able to create and it's all about playing around it to get what suits you okay it doesn't mean you have to stick to the exact animation i'm doing just play around it this is just to give you an idea of what can be achieved in canva so yes the name is benjamin don't forget you can check out canva pro if you want to be able to do more in canva and you can also check out the assorted canva template i have created for you don't forget the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next tutorial no let's end it <laughs>